There's a very popular candle scent going around this season called pumpkin banana scone. So it inspired me. I'm gonna try and make pumpkin banana scones. Ah, who doesn't love the smell <laughs> of pumpkin banana scones in the morning? I know we do. Yeah, yeah we're excited yeah. about this and we love our viewers. And when one of them said that he was inspired to make them because of PTL, we knew we had to meet him and get a taste of them as well. So this is Doug Hillman. Doug, you just don't watch PTL. It sounds like you let it lead you in the kitchen too. I, totally. I mean, I'm a big fan. I love the positivity of the show and I think Heather mentioned this candle right like twice and i was trying to think of a new pumpkin recipe to make for the fall and went downstairs had some bananas on the counter and here we are yeah. pumpkin banana scone pumpkin banana scone so you're going to walk us through you're actually trusting us to actually help implement this recipe yes. so walk us through doug what do we need to be doing okay so david we have you down on wet ingredients you have the pumpkin yeah i'm going to add right that here. little bit of half and half you see there okay along with some vanilla and an oh. egg you're look how neat this little measure. container is for the half and half oh yeah Okay. I mean, this is PTL. And this is, yeah, we <laughs> spare no expense. Okay. And this is the vanilla, mm -hmm. and then the egg, and then do I just whisk that together? Yep, you got okay. it. Okay. And then, Mikey, we have you on the dry ingredients. And I did a little something for you already. Yeah. We've got flour and sugar and pumpkin pie spice and some other things in that bowl. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have you add our banana. So we have a banana Ooh, diced up. Good. I feel like I'm in one of your cooking videos. This I mean, and you make it so easy in those videos, too. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks. And what is this? Oh, these are chopped cashews because mm -hmm. the, when I read up on the candle, and I don't know much about this particular candle, but it said the notes included cashew and coconut. So those are chopped cashews, and we also have a little coconut. Oh, right I now. love oh, coconut. This is the coconut. Yeah. Coconut puts Dude. things over the top. It I really love does. it. Yeah, definitely. Right. So, Mike, if you want to give that just a little gentle stir, and David, okay. you can go ahead and add all the wet ingredients in. Okay. Oh, yeah. David. Look at this. We've made a team, <laughs> Mikey. We are. I love this. All right, and oh, so, and we should Pretty mention, hard. so Doug's videos, Doug Heilman's videos, it's Doug is cooking. Doug cooking. YouTube. Yeah, Doug, Doug cooking, cooking okay. on cooking. YouTube. All right, if you want to check them out and you can <laughs> see more of these kind of recipes, this is looking good, mm -hmm. but I know that you have sort of advanced the process here for television purposes. That's right. So uh, we would mix that dough up until it was all combined and there's no flour left. I have a piece already that I did and when you dump it out onto your counter you're going to form it into either a round or a square. You want to go for about three quarters of an inch thick. I like a square maybe because I'm a square but uh, yeah, so. <laughs> you don't seem <laughs> like a square. You seem very round. <laughs> but you want to chill that dough so it kind of hardens back up because we had oh, butter okay. and we had, you know, kind of worked up all the glutens. Right. And then you cut it like a window pane. And then to get our sort of larger size scones, you cut it into triangles and separate those apart. Uh, we're going to bake these at 400 degrees. They go for about anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. Now, if you want a slightly smaller scone, I made some mini scones. No, who would want that? Well, maybe you want more than one. Oh, I guess. No, I, guess. I like yeah. that. I like now pacing yourself can mm -hmm. be important is what I yeah. found. Exactly. This is what I found after making these like, you know, six or seven times. Okay. So, so when, you, when, when you're teaching in your videos, do you purposely make it easy for people to follow along? Yeah, I, yeah. I try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I come from a teaching and training background as my professional work. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, you know, I spent many years as a facilitator in that way, and, and but I wasn't training on anything around food or or cooking, so I try and break it down. So it is easy, you just have to practice. You know, like, I love how Rainia is teaching Selena how to practice, so right. I think anybody that can watch a video and, and, and pick up something new is, is the way and to do it. And you even incorporate your mom. Yeah, mom and I just launched our pie making video, so she is the pie queen, a big influence on me. My, my mom, all the ladies in the family, we grew up on a big farm up in Armstrong County, so food has always been like a big deal, yeah. and, uh, and so we're gonna try and have more guests on my little channel. That's too. fantastic. Yeah. Shout out to Armstrong oh. County. I love it. All right, so we should move on the other side. Mm -hmm. of yeah, so now, I've got right? some scones that I, I baked in the PTL kitchen, and okay. uh, I've been icing some of them this morning. If, if you guys want to try and ice icing one, too. you're welcome now, to I do see, it. It looks like there are different types of icing. That's here. right. Mm -hmm. So I, I pretty much used up just a uh, spice cinnamon sugar, but I also made a banana icing, <gasps> and then this is a pumpkin icing. Oh. And so I have one of of all three for you to try. I just, I can't pick one. Okay. Yeah, just go for it. Eating, meaning, mining, The banana's pretty good. Okay. okay. Mm. You know what, I'm going to try this one right here. What is, which one is this? Mm. Uh, that is banana as well. Banana. I got banana. banana too. What do you think? Oh, this is 
This is nothing better than a scone. Oh, <laughs> good with banana ice cream. <laughs> good this with coffee. This is so good. Oh, thank really you. I'm is. so glad they created the candle. Otherwise, we'd mm -hmm. never have met this. Right. Totally a, an unusual combination, and uh, I love them. What a way mm. to be creative. Yeah. I'm going to take these back to okay, the good, good. with me. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, thank you so much, Doug. We really, really appreciate it. Fantastic and a lot of fun, too. All right, make sure to check out Doug's website. I have ice all over myself right now. We're going to put the link to it on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.